The rudder authority on this plane is crazy. You can mix in rudder with those turns and really fly in a tight spot. <laughs> that was my runway on Dave. <laughs> Look at the little tracks. That's hilarious. That's fun. Guys, I could do that all day. Just practice little landings with this in the snow. That's awesome. I thought it would nose over for sure. I I'm was worried. <clears throat> Very nice. <laughs> Well guys, we were here just a couple days ago flying a small Isheen Warbird and they're great. They really are. And I talked about in that video some better performance alternatives. Still in the same size, could fly in about the same size space. Uh, this airplane has a lot going for it over that little Warbird. It's very much a trainer, but you could also progress a lot more on this plane. It has a brushless motor as opposed to brushed and geared, which means this thing should outlast the motor in those little Warbirds tenfold, if not more. Also, this flies on a 2S battery rather than a little 1S battery. So we literally have double the power and I'd say more than double the performance. So let's put it in the air and see if we can see this very white plane against the snow. <laughs> Why hand launch it when you can make your own runway? <laughs> okay, you think that'll work? Hopefully. There's our little one minute beep. <laughs> Here we go. It worked! Nice! <laughs> it worked. I can't believe, I can't it. believe that worked. <laughs> okay, I couldn't remember if it was in the auto level mode or not, so it's in the auto level mode. The switch is sometimes hard to remember. Now this one I don't want to happen. <laughs> What happened to my warbird? If you guys missed that, you totally need to check it out. <laughs> you like this one a little bit better, I huh? I like this one way better. Let's go more in the advanced mode. I actually like flying this one because it can actually do rolls and loops and uh, it doesn't come super tail heavy out of the box like the little warbird did. Look at that. How many loops did I just do? I have no idea. <laughs> super easy. Let's do it closer. So this little plane... <clears throat> It's just a nice little flyer. You can see the gusts kind of messing with me a little bit. You don't want to fly in too much wind because it is a small park flyer. I think I need to trim it up a hair and it is acting a little tail heavy right now. But let's just go for a nice roll. Yeah, you're going to hear that beep throughout this video because this radio, this radio, you're going to hear it intermittently throughout the video because every minute it beeps um, to let you know how long you've been flying. Now, I'm going to have to trim this up because you guys are seeing that porpoising going on. I think I've got too much climb in it right now. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, let's trim that up. That's better. <laughs> That's a little better. <laughs> this thing, I've been able to get it to knife edge before. I've also done some inverted passes. I don't know You've if I'm landed it today. on hay bales? <clears throat> I have, yeah, on TikTok. Let's see if I can do a knife <laughs> edge. Oh, yeah, it's a little wonky. Uh, okay, we'll do it. We'll try that again. <laughs> I know I can fly it inverted pretty well, too. So there's some upside down flight on this. Let's just keep it inverted for a minute. You know, bigger planes fly better. That's generally just the rule of thumb. Uh, but this one, if you wanted to learn, oh, <laughs> if you wanted to learn some extra maneuvers, it's a good one to do it on. You can put it in training mode where it's auto level um, and very nice little trainer. Sorry about that. And then throw it out of it and just practice a little, just practice a little roll and then go for a loop. And then if you panic, boom, throw it right back down into auto level uh, beginner mode and you're good to go. I, I just love how this thing has so much progression on it for such a small plane. It is one of the most uh, progressible planes uh, in its size. It's very capable too. It's very powerful. Let's, you know what? One thing I've never done with this is like a climb. So I want to see how it climbs. We're going to go and putzing around in the beginner mode. Let's go advanced and just rock it. Climb, 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 climb. Getting a little squirrely up there and I, I'm throwing in some crazy Holy rudder. Holy moly. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually done that with this. Let's go aileron and rudder. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> we'll do it out here. Maybe it's a little easier to see. And together, very cool. That was nice. You can just do some wild stuff with this airplane. Just through the field goal there. I still need to trim it up a hair. Let's see that again. Because this actually has ailerons, elevator, and rudder authority, plus throttle. It is just a fun, wild little airplane. There's a little bit of a nice You're making edge. me work today. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Stop Saved that. It. <laughs> <laughs> 
but it's really fun to just lower that throttle on too. Now, if you're gonna cook the throttle, some people have complained about it's a little wild to fly. That's, I think a lot of people are out there flying at like full throttle. This thing does extremely well. Let's do this, watch. Okay, so I'm back in beginner mode. <clears throat> And I am just very casually flying this at about half throttle, maybe even slightly under half. And not a lot of planes like to stay in the air that are ready to fly like that. But this one, we can just fly nice and low and slow. Look at that. Oh, it's a cool little touch and go in the snow. That was awesome, actually. Let's do that again. It flies kind of like a bush plane if you keep it fairly low throttle. But then if you need to punch out of something, you've got the power to do it. That's so cool, wasn't it? Look at that. Nice. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That was awesome. We're doing more of that. <laughs> oh, that was really cool. Those oversized tires on this little airplane, that, that was perfect for that. Let's see that again. Oh, I hit my, my boot tracks. But look, you know, we've got a steerable wheel, going. so just steer it and there take it back off. Nice. Man, that's awesome. You didn't have to make a runway at all. No, and actually, I think it's doing better without the packed down snow. That's cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm really having a good time flying like that. <laughs> the rudder authority on this plane is crazy. You can mix in rudder with those turns and really fly in a tight spot. Oops. That was my runway <laughs> I made. Look at the little tracks. That's hilarious. That's fun. Guys, I could do that all day. Just practice little landings with this in the snow. That's awesome. I thought it would nose over for sure. I was worried. <clears throat> very nice <laughs> what do you think i mean I, would that's, you rather that's cool. see me going crazy in the air or just doing some of these little i like this me it's too fun. let's go don't hit the building <laughs> no. that's what's nice guys i mean we're flying in what i would have to say especially these little landings that i'm practicing super smooth little landings this space has got to be like a fourth of a baseball field over here. You know, it's a very little tight space. I'm not even flying. Obviously, out past it's a football field. It's way <laughs> but down where there. we're flying, yeah. It's way down there, going. yeah. But no. we're just in this tiny little corner here, and this thing is really fun. And this whole time, in case you're wondering, I'm actually in this beginner mode with these little landings I'm doing because it just helps the stability of it. And these little weird gusts of wind are hitting me, so I'm enjoying it. I'm just enjoying the whole. That just looks cool. That looks... Oh! Ah, yeah. It got in your footprint. Yeah, I finally got stuck. <laughs> Give it a little nudge. Look at all the prints that it did. That's awesome. Okay, one more for the road. All right. I got to do one more touch and go. This is just cool. There we go. Actual from from a standstill takeoff in the snow. It's cool. It. Let's get one it's more nice smooth. Very impressive. I was, I had some wind helping me with lift. I was actually <laughs> full elevator down on that, believe it or not. There's some wind was helping, a little rudder mixed in. Nice, oh, that was a bounce. This is like my favorite thing. It's so cool. <laughs> I've ever done with a little mini plane. <laughs> it needs, try this it needs little mini uh, skis on it. Oh, skis on this would be so cool. No, you can finish the video out, okay. you're doing good. I've flown this before you guys. We'll have to link that at Look the at end that. of this video. Oh, wow, you you're drift. wild. ka -chow. Wow. This is fun. All right, well, time for a landing. We definitely don't want to be like a two or three hour video or anything, so let's just go ahead and land this. Nice and smooth. Oh, look at that, Abby. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That was awesome. <laughs> What a sweet plane. Like I said at the beginning of this, it's brushless motor, which is really nice. Uh, you don't see a lot of planes in this size, ready to fly especially, that are brushless. The sun is coming out, so I'm getting a little blinded now without my sunglasses, but that was fun. Those touch and goes at the end, oh, that's that should have been the whole video, right? That was really fun. Uh, this plane, it is capable of doing these knife edges and some rolls and loops but bigger planes are going to do them better. The smaller planes are just more squirrely, even with the auto level stuff helping, uh, but it's it's doable. I just, I did it here and I every time I fly this plane, I really enjoy it, or if Abby's flying it, I'm pretty jealous that she's flying it. It's a fun little plane to fly. And those oversized wheels mean you can do, and there's grass, this is just a grass field. Grass and snow take off and landing. <laughs> I wouldn't do that with anything else, I don't think. That's, uh, that's really cool. And, it's an American-based company with mom and pop shop. So if you're interested in this plane, it's linked in the description box below. 
Clicking that link helps support us and the mom and pop shop that sells this. It's very sweet. I'm just grateful for today. This was a lot of fun and this that's what this hobby is all about. And so for all that, I thank the Lord. We have just had a blast with this hobby all through last year, 2021 and nine years on YouTube. And here we are going into 2022, having fun with the hobby and just sharing it with you guys. For that, I'm forever grateful. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters. We just couldn't do what we do without you guys. You know it, we say in every video for a reason. We thank you. And I think Abby mentioned while I was flying this, we'll have one of her videos of her flying this plane popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.